God resists the proud because of the position that the proud man has put himself in. That he doesn't care about the way God wants him to do things. That he's interested in his way of doing things because he thinks that he may not or does not need God. God wants us to submit to his way of doing things. God gives grace to the humble. I want that. I definitely want his grace and his favor in my life. I believe that God wants us to understand that because we decide to listen to his way of doing things and depend on him, that he will handle whatever problem that we have at that particular time. God's word says that if we cast our cares upon him, he will care for us. So if we're not casting our cares upon him, then we're not depending on God. We are depending on ourselves, which is the way the world sees things and the way we've been taught how to accomplish things. But actually, it's depending on God and then allowing him to work in our lives and exalt us in due time. So when we cast our cares upon the Lord, then we're in humility. But when we pick up that care and we stress about it, then we're in pride. When we depend on the Lord, the grace of God is released in our lives. We depend on him by casting our cares, our worries, our problems upon him. And when we do that, grace works in our life because he gives us grace to work in our lives. Burdens are then removed and yokes are destroyed. So therefore, we have to make a decision to depend on God, knowing that he loves us. He loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. So therefore, he is going to be there for us with anything that we need. As long as it's within his will, anything that we need, all we have to do is depend on God. Remember, No matter what you've done and how you feel, God loves you. Ask David. Ask Peter. Ask Paul. Ask Mary Magdalene. They'll tell you. Bye-bye now.